how to find primary research articles. First, let's talk about Google Scholar, a free search engine that indexes scholarly articles across many disciplines. To search it, go to scholar.google.com. A big pro of Google Scholar is that it has Google's search capabilities. So you can put in just about any search terms, including whole sentences, and you will get some results. It's a great place to start if you aren't quite sure what keywords you need to use to find articles on your topic. Let's say we're looking for primary research articles about the cabbage white butterfly. We can put that in to start, and from there, get ideas about future searches. For example, we learn the scientific name. Then, we can add that to our future searches using OR. That means that we will get results that use the common name or the scientific name in just one search. Skimming this list of results can give us ideas for more specific topics to look into. Pheromones, migration, parasites, temperature, etc. could all be narrowed topics for a more focused search. Search tip. Getting results that use some of your words but aren't quite on topic? Put phrases in quotation marks to narrow your results to just those words in that order. A con of Google Scholar is that it will give you some results that you can read online, but many of the results will be behind paywalls. Look for results with PDF links over on the right. That means the article is posted online at that link. Search tip. You can also have Google Scholar tell you if Edmonds College has access to an article that is behind a paywall. To do that, click on the three lines in the upper left, then on Settings, go to Library Links, search for Edmonds College, select it, then click Save. Now, when you search, you will also see View It at Edmonds College links for some of your results. Here are some other great Google Scholar features to know about. Use the date links to limit to just the newest articles. Use the Cite button to get APA and other citation style citations. Check these for accuracy as with any generated citation. Use the Cited By link to see other articles that cited this article in their work. Search tip. If you find an article that is behind a paywall and also not in the Edmonds Library collection, we can get it for you for free. This is a service called Interlibrary Loan. To confirm that your article is a primary research article, look for a detailed method section where the researchers describe the study they conducted, a results section with charts and graphs of data, and a long references list. These are all clues that you're looking at a primary research article. Let's see how using the library databases compares to Google Scholar. Start with the library homepage, edmunds.edu library, then click the databases link. From here, you can see all the databases that Edmund subscribes to. You can browse the whole list or choose a specific subject from the dropdown to see a selected list of recommended databases for that subject. It is good to check out a variety of databases and get comfortable with searching in them. The biggest difference between searching in a library database versus a natural language search like Google is that you need to use only the key terms in a library database search. Don't put in a sentence like in Google. Instead, put just the key terms that you must see in each result. The other big difference is that we pay for these, so you will have access to millions of articles for free. Librarians are here to help you with your research strategy, using databases, writing citations, and getting articles through interlibrary loan. Use any method to get in touch with a librarian and get help, even 24-7.